It is time for celebration for these supporters of Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, which has won the Saturday's landmark parliamentary polls. This is the man who will be the Pakistan's next Prime Minister. Nawaz Sharif will make history when he becomes the Prime Minister for the third time. Contrary to pre-election analysis, the PMLN has won enough seats to form government in the centre as well as in the largest province of Punjab. Sharif is making a comeback to the top position after 16 years. His last stint as the country's Prime Minister was ended prematurely in 1999 when then Pakistani Army Chief General Parvez Musharraf dismissed his government in a bloodless coup. In a victory speech at his party headquarters in northeastern city of Lahore, Sharif has invited other political parties to join hands to steer the country out of current problems. For the sake of Pakistan, for the sake of 180 million people, I am willing to sit with all the other political parties to resolve country's problems such as power shortage, unemployment and inflation. The PMLN has also promised to revisit the country's foreign policy, including cooperation with the US in its so-called war on terror. The party has voiced concerns over the US assassination drone strikes in the country's tribal belt. Many experts believe that his real test as to whether he will live up to his promises has just begun. We anticipate that he has grown mature, he has more, um, uh, twice he was prime minister, so he will not be new to the power corridors. Uh, now he has to exhibit his craft, his statesmanship to bring nation out of the quagmire. The 2013 elections have also seen the emergence of a new political party led by the cricketer turned politician Imran Khan. But at the same time, election results have proved fatal for former ruling party and its allies. Except in Sindh province, the Pakistan People's Party of President Asif Ali Zardari suffered serious setbacks in the polls. Kamran Yusuf, Press TV, Islamabad.